Hera was the comedic god of the sky. His name is translated as the distant one, or the one on high. He is probably most well known as the protector of the ruler of Kemet. The Kemites believed that the pharaoh was the living Heru, and was the human form of Heru on earth. And when he died, the pharaoh was the human form of Aser, who ruled the underworld. Heru was the son of the god Asar and the goddess Aset, who were two of the nine Kemetic gods of the Enid. Asar and Aset ruled upper and lower Kemet as co-regents, ruling a peaceful and thriving civilization. Asar made it his task to bring knowledge to the world, and while he traveled the earth, Aset ruled the empire. All loved Aset and Asar, except for their brother Seth, who was the god of chaos and storms. Seth grew increasingly jealous of his brother and his happy marriage to their sister. Seth had married Nephthys, who was a beautiful goddess herself, but as Seth represented the desert, he was infertile, incapable of giving his wife a child. Nephthys, either by trickery or charm, appealed to Asar to impregnate her, and the union produced the god Anubis. In rage, Seth murdered his brother and dismembered his body, scattering the parts around the world. But Aset loved her husband so much that she found his body parts, and with the help of Anubis and Thoth, resurrected Aser long enough for he and his beloved wife to conceive a son who would be Herod. Aset had to keep her son's birth a secret, because Seth ruled the two kingdoms, and he would see the heir of his brother as a threat to his position. With the help of her sister Nephthys, Aset raised her son to be strong and good. He was educated by Thoth, the god of wisdom and knowledge. In time, he grew to be a strong and powerful adult and was ready to challenge his uncle for his rightful throne. Two powerful gods waged several bloody battles, each bearing terrible wounds. Heru lost an eye, while Seth lost a testicle. Eventually, Heru was able to defeat his uncle and assume the throne that was rightfully his. The battles between Heru and Seth reached the Chemites as stories of hope. In a time of frequent rebellions and invading occupiers, the defeat of Seth became a powerful symbol of order ruling over chaos. Many comedic temple reliefs show Heru's triumph over Seth in a variety of tales. The significance of Heru is in the position of his birth. Per the myth of the Enid of Atun Ra, Heru is the first to be born of Earth, as his predecessors represent the line from Sirius B. His mother, compensating for the missing penis of her husband, fashioned a phallus of gold by which the energy of Asar would be passed to her through this earthly vessel. Hera would later be noted as the progenitor of life on earth, and all the pharaohs were descendants of him. As early as the late pre-dynastic times, cults began associating with Hera. Although cults were common for comedic gods, Many cults focus on specific local gods. Heru was a well-known god with popularity throughout all Kemet. Examples of his importance are found throughout all of Kemet in temple remains, monuments, and coffin texts. The most significant tribute to Heru stands at the Temple of Edfu, located 60 kilometers north of Aswan. The structure is considered to be the most well-preserved of the temples of the Kemetic Age. Cult worship of Heru began in the Delta, spreading south through the reign of Ptolemy III. Construction of the temple began around 237 BCE. Over the course of the 180 years of construction, Heru was worshipped at Edfu for constantly battling Seth and protecting the world from chaos. He was the protector of the royalty of Kemet, avenger of wrongs, defender of order, uniter of the two lands, and based on his battles with Seth, a god of war regularly invoked by comedic rulers before battles and praised afterwards. One of the most important gods of ancient Kemet, the worship of Hera spanned over 5,000 years. With mentions and records from the late pre-dynastic period through the Roman times, Hera became a catch-all name for the many different gods associated with falcons. Comedic mythology features many different versions of his name, family, and importance. Also known as Heru of Two Eyes, his left eye represented the sun and his right eye represented the moon. With the life-giving power of the sun and the healing power of the moon, Heru ruled both the night and the day. 
Heru was a disciplined warrior and was a wise and thoughtful leader, often taking advice from his mentor Thoth. Heru did not kill Seth because he understood the importance of the god of chaos. Seth was a defender of Ra during his journey through the underworld, and the lesson we learned from their conflict was that this powerful potential energy of chaos needed to be controlled, but not destroyed. The Eye of Horus is still one of the most powerful and popular symbols of the ancient Kemetic civilization. It is seen as the watchful eye, the eye that sees everything and protects the world from the always impending threat of chaos.